the globe, advancements in science and technology are making several jobs obsolete. Automation is now heavily emphasized, which is why training young minds in robotics, which is a part of STEM learning, is important, so as to prepare them for the growing technological and industrial economy. On this episode of the program, we will be showing you how some schools in Lagos State fare as they participate in the 2022-2023 National Robotics Competition at the Vivian Fowler Memorial College for Girls. And this year's theme is Energize. Now, the main competition is in Abuja, the nation's capital. But for safety reasons, schools in Lagos State were exempted from participating physically, which is why Vivian Fowler Memorial College for Girls is co-hosting the contest within its premises. In this room is where the first LEGO League teams are competing, but in the next room are the advanced teams for the first tech challenge. This event will determine the first LEGO League and first tech challenge teams that represents Nigeria at the World Championship in Houston, USA. It's the 2022-2023 First National Robotics Competition holding at the Vivian Fowler Memorial College for Girls. And this year, 12 teams from five schools in Lagos State, including a team from the National Library in Yaba, are participating in the competition. Tech Tavis, Vivian Fowler, and lastly, CIS Link. Due to safety reasons, schools in Lagos State were exempted from taking part in the contest physically in Abuja, the nation's capital which is why Vivian Fowler Memorial College for Girls is co-hosting the contest with Codrina Education Technology within its premises for Lagos schools. We see the first as the first competition as a family. It's a time, yes, it's a competition, but it's a time for us to bind together, to learn from each other, to ensure that even as a team from Nigeria, there is so much that we can do. Having um, gone to Houston last year, we realized that if we had spent more time with more teams, there would have been so much that we could have learned together. The beauty about FIRST is that you're learning to collaborate, you're learning marketing, you're learning IT, you're learning so many other skills. And the place for you to harness those skills is in a competition like this. The 2022-2023 Youth Robotics Season Energy Theme challenges teams to reimagine the future of sustainable energy and power the ideas forward. In your house, to do what? Uh, my parents use it to... Use and representatives of the Lagos State Government have a brief interaction with the students. All of the information we are getting from technology, we can help build ourselves with them. Okay, so uh, you don't think it will make us lazy, it, it just makes information access uh, easier. Would you like to use it? Yes. What for? I'll use it to um, write essays. This competition is really a worthwhile one. It helps, uh, number one, encourage students to go into the areas of science, technology, engineering, math. Uh, but more importantly, it helps us to identify young promising students that are able to contribute positively in the area of robotics uh, to economic development. I think that um, nowadays, uh, technology drives the world. Robotics uh, are part of billion dollar industries. And so encouraging students from now is very critical, right? So we encourage them uh, to build, to have the patience to solve problems. We think these are very important elements uh, for us to begin to uh, have uh, multi-billion dollar robotic industries in the future. Don't forget that they are learning about what is the most recent, most important technological uh, innovation in recent years. And um, this is only going to help them up their skills in a lot of ways. First of all, artificial intelligence, you know, can be used to solve a myriad of problems. And we want our children to be problem solvers, to be creative, to be critical thinkers. We want them to be able to reflect on performance and keep learning, to be lifelong learners. So this is part of their journey. And this is going to teach them a number of skills without them sitting in class and saying this is time for problem solving, but saying address this particular situation. They'll bring to the fore their strengths, their skills, their talents. I think it's great. From the hall, 
the students go into the interview room to present their innovation project and robot design to a panel of judges for both the first Lego League and first tech challenge. The project is a hydro generator. It uses water and converts the energy from it into electricity. We are trying to solve the problem of, of um, pollution and, and, the, and we are trying to stop global warming and climate change by using water instead of other unreliable sources like, like fire and burning and burning petroleum and, um, and fossil fuels, it will damage the ozone layer. To me, innovation is creating or editing new things to make it better and easier to use. My experience with innovation is with, I just, I just recently joined the FLL team and we've been making solutions, we've been editing things that already exist to make it better and improving on things where our main focus is to create a new source of renewable energy or improve on existing ones and make them better and easier to use in rural areas of Nigeria. Our area of focus is Borsari Village, Yobe State, Nigeria. Borsari has very high wind speeds and it's very hot in climate, which is perfect to implement a hybrid, so a hybrid wind turbine. Hybrid wind turbines generate both solar and wind energy. Since the beginning of this season, we have been working tirelessly to finish our robot for the competition. But aside from that, our team also focuses on trying to build the skill sets of the different members, on whether it be programming, building, thinking outside the box. So we are more than just a team that does competition. This season, we went for a more innovative and creative design when designing our robot because over the past seasons, we've had limitation of parts, we've had to um, acquire different projects, we've had to raise money, we've had to do so many things for the improvement of our team. The first energized season will see students build robots to complete tasks and create innovative real-world solutions. In Superpowered, the first LEGO League teams explore where energy comes from and how it is distributed, stored and used. Then they put their superpowered creativity to work to innovate for a better energy future. While the first tech challenge teams in power play will compete in an energy-driven game and test the limits of performance, efficiency and endurance. As the finale gets intense, all 12 teams prepare to take home the winning prize. The first LEGO League teams have three rounds to go. Each team of four students has 2 minutes 30 seconds to complete the missions and the major rule is that no member can move their robot with their hands. And as the race for time, their hope is that their programmed robots will not fail them by successfully completing each task. Well, the first round was really nice because we did a lot and we were very happy. But the second round, we only did one mission and that mission didn't really get us any points. But this last round, you know, uh, when it takes all and it was very stressful, but at the same time, it was really good. When they called us for our first round, I was quite scared, to be honest. I thought that, oh, what if this doesn't go wrong? So we all gathered up in the room, we prayed. And when we got here, I was still scared. but. Our robots did malfunction for a while, but it was okay. We were scared a little bit, but we still overcame it. For the second and third round, we became a little bit confident in ourselves. Our robots did malfunction, but not as bad as the first round. The first tech challenge teams are more advanced and sophisticated with the robot designs. They have five rounds to complete the missions within the same 2 minutes 30 seconds time frame for each round. Although they appear agitated, they are poised to win. Also, if I stated because I was like, this challenge was very hard that we could not make a robot that can, that could solve this challenge. But 
Because and we started like eight months ago, because immediately the challenge came out, then I just had to resume to the lab, then start working on robots and even start doing trials and error. Like, will this be able to fit? Will this be able to fit? Will this not be able to fit? And which one grabs most? So, like, probably now um, we've worked on this, on the robots, like, for the past eight months. So, we've been working on the robots back to back. Today, I feel like because we started off knowing that, okay, we've done this and this is the best that we could do, we were able to come in second, actually. So it was actually really encouraging to us that, okay, today was not, it was just not a waste of time. And yes, today was fun. Everybody had fun. Towards the end, everybody was screaming and shouting and clapping. And they were like, we won, we won. So everybody was happy and it was just amazing. Since the main event is in Abuja, the results in Lagos are said to be compiled with the other participants in the nation's capital. The winning teams will then go ahead to represent Nigeria in different international tournaments. First Championship is an international event for youth robotics competition season and an annual celebration of science, technology, engineering and mathematics as the young people are prepared for the future.